focus on me, pull out the owl. Otherwise, I'll get Marvin. Okay, we're going to 60 seconds. Let Marvin get hit. All right? Hold on. Just a minute. Hold on a second. What is it? What, 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 what? Excuse me. Excuse me. There are tw trucks double parked all the way down the street. You said that if you did tool time from our bathroom, that it would be you, Al, Heidi, and one cameraman. Well, the audience gets here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Look, I had to do something to boost the ratings, all right? Oh, yeah, that's going to be a real ratings grabber. Hey, Myrtle, forget about Hawaii. Let's just stay home and watch Tim play with his toilet. <laughs> Okay, we're going. If you're not in this shot, get off the set. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's, go. Right, let's, chop, chop, chop. let's go. Let's go. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two. Welcome to a very special tool time, live from Tim's bathroom. Now, here they are, those princes of porcelain, those titans of the toilet, those jokers of the John, those bad boys of the bull. Heidi. The... <laughs> Sorry. Tim Taylor and Al Borlin. It's Water Conservation Week here on Tool Time, and what better place to conserve some water than right here in the bathroom? That's right. Today we're going to show you how to install low-flow aerators, shower heads, and some water-conserving devices for the toilet. But first, a little Tool Time riddle. What does a 50-yard line behind home plate and your home toilet have in common? Amp! The best seats in the house! <laughs> All right, now, a standard toilet uses about 3.5 gallons per flush. Now, you can lessen that amount by displacing the water in the tank. You do that by taking off the top and filling that with large, heavy objects. Now, we're not sure if it's going to work, but have Al jump in there. Okay, Al, hop in. I was talking uh, more along the lines of perhaps a brick, a bag of marbles, or a plastic bottle filled with water. All right. Now, another good way to conserve water, if you can afford it, is a new toilet. What we recommend is the Benford 6100 series pressure activated toilet. That's right. It only uses 1.4 gallons of water. Better than any other toilet on the market. Not true. The toilet on the space shuttle uses absolutely no water. <laughs> Thank you, Flush Gordon. <laughs> we'll be back with more toilet tips after these few messages from Benford. Don, do something about the lights in here. What the heck is going on? Klaus? Wardrobe. Klaus, uh, wardrobe. I think I Tony, cars outside. If you don't uh, park, you better move them. Uh, All right, move the cars. Get permits. Pull in behind my car. We'll do hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go. Hustle, hustle. Dave, Dave. Where are you guys going? We're on. We're on in five, four, three, two. Welcome back to Tool Time with those kings of the can, those lords of the loo, those thrill seekers of the throne, those heroes of the head, those... Heidi! Saturday, Sherman's Bar Mitzvah is going to be awesome. Yeah. I thought you had to be Jewish to go to a Bar Mitzvah. Right, Mark, and you have to be Swiss to eat cheese. <laughs> what is a Bar Mitzvah anyways? Well, when a Jewish boy turns 13, they say a whole bunch of prayers, and then eventually his family throws him a huge party with lots of food and tons of presents. Cool. Do you think if I start praying now, mm. I can have a Bar Mitzvah? <laughs> yeah, Mark, why don't you do that? Then tomorrow you can pray for a new brain. <laughs> I just hope I don't get yours. Hi, Kat. Randy, I picked up your suit at the dry cleaners. I also got a bunch of stuff that you left in the pockets, a half suck candy cane, and a phone message you never gave me. Oh, yeah, call Grandma. Hey, honey. You never get called. My mother. Well, yeah, but that was a couple of days ago. <laughs> well, thank you. That's a week sooner than usually give me the message. Well, I knew it was important. My brother Marty called. 
Me and Nancy are driving down on Friday. They want to stay over. Oh, that's great. I get to see the babies again. Yeah, no. The little pooper troopers are staying with Mom. <laughs> you know, he's got a job interview on Saturday. If he gets that job, I think they're going to move here. That would be great. We get to play with those babies all the time. And I get to play with my baby brother. <laughs> Not going to put him in a red anthill again, are you? I, mean, I think I've grown out of that kind of prank. Give him atomic wedgies? <laughs> Way too old for that. Fake vomit in the shoes? Never too old for that. If I get this job, I'd be working for one of the fastest growing sporting goods stores in the state. It's got through the roof potential. Honey, that's just how I felt when I started with Benford. Yeah, and Tim's been through seven or eight roofs. Actually, six and a porta potty. You sure you don't want some pancakes, Marty? Oh, no, thanks, Jill. Before an interview, I, I don't like to eat anything heavy. My pancakes aren't heavy. Here, try that one. Okay. No! I'm back. Mm. Mm. I just ran about five miles. All right. <laughs> oh, did you call home? How is everything? Oh, my mom's fine. I was talking about the babies. I don't know. They wouldn't come to the phone. <laughs> Ow. Where did they learn that? SWAT team. I can't believe you. Your first morning away from the kids. They could have slept in. <sighs> nope. I am determined to get my old body back. <laughs> back. I still have a few more pounds to lose. Oh, you look great. I'd take that body in a minute. So would I. <laughs> what does that mean? About a body like that, I could wear a jogging bra I've always wanted to. I picture you more in a strapless push-up. Yeah. Really, Nance, how comfortable is that bra? I mean, does it... Is it chafe or like, I'm so sensitive in this area here. Tim, enough with the bra. I'm off to the job interview. Wish me luck. Hey, you don't need luck. You're a tailor. That's right, you need directions. <laughs> Reminds me, I got a map for you out in my car. Wrong way, your car's out front. Of course it is. You want me to get you some pancakes? Oh, I'd love some, but then I'd have to run about another six miles. Oh. I think I'm going to go up and take a hot shower. My back gets a little stiff when I don't run on the track. Well, that's good, but use um, our bathroom because Randy's been in his all morning. Oh, has he got a big date? Big bar mitzvah. Oh, my gosh. i got to run out and get Sherman a present. Oh, do you want to borrow my earmuffs? It's really nippy out there. No, Nancy, when I say run out, I mean take the car. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Start to clear up out there, guys. Nancy? Jill? Hey, Jill? <laughs> Honey? Jill? 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 So sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, I, I thought Jill was in there and you're not Jill. What I need is a sign-in sheet. You know, Nancy in, Tim out. <laughs> no, no, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have used your bathroom. It's just that Jill said that Randy was in the other one. There's nothing to explain. <laughs> For gosh sakes, we're just two mature adults that happen to see each other's hoo-hoos. <laughs> <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Yeah, it is a little bit, isn't it? Although, what do we have to be embarrassed about? It's not like either of us hasn't seen a naked body before. I've seen thousands of them. 
We have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, especially you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Actually, uh. I mean, when you think about it, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny, yeah. Marty and Jill are going to get a good laugh out of this. <laughs> I don't think it's that funny. You think they're going to get upset? No, because I don't think we should tell them. Tim, it was an accident. They'll understand. I don't think Jill understand. <laughs> After all those jokes I made about the jogging bra this morning, I think it's best you just let it go. Okay? Do you really think we shouldn't say anything? <laughs> I think if we told them what we saw, we'd be a couple of boobs. <laughs> That's your question. What are you doing? You know, Tim, I'm practicing an ancient Greek tradition. It said that to fend off a flea problem, you pelt the front of your door with jugs. Oh, don't use that word. Um, I... I inadvertently uh, saw my sister-in-law in the buff. Um, I walked in the shower, I thought Jill was in there, and she, she was standing right there. Well, Tim, that sounds totally innocent. Oh, it was. It, but it's just family, and you, you know, you expect family to get the reaction like your 80 or 90-year-old grandma in there, but <laughs> grandma never looked like that. <laughs> so you enjoyed seeing Nancy in her birthday suit? It was a very happy birthday. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, Tim, this brings to mind the great Buddha. The cheese. That's Gouda. I'm talking about Buddha. The prophet? Ah. Even though I've always considered him a pretty big cheese. <laughs> anyway, Buddha says that men are conquerors if they have conquered the intoxications of temptation. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's perfectly natural for a man to be drawn to a woman he finds attractive. I just wish this hadn't happened. Mm. You know, I, I mean, if I'm going to walk in on a family member, it should be my brother Brian's wife. Ooh. 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 Uh, no, Grandma, Mom's not here. Yeah, she's having lunch with Aunt Nancy. All right, I'll give her the message. Okay, Grandma, I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> okay, love you too. <laughs> Sherman's bar mitzvah's already over? No, but for me, it's in limbo. What do you mean? I, uh, split my pants doing the limbo. Oh, where's Mom? I need her to sew these back up so I can get back to the party. <laughs> She's not here. What am I gonna do? I don't know. I know. Staple me shut. <laughs> I hate to pry, fellas. What are you doing? Randy split his pants doing the limbo. And using a stapler to fix it? That's material on human flesh back there, pal. Let me get my hot glue gun. So long, Dad. Wait, wait, I'm not done yet. <laughs> One brother stapling another's butt that brings back fond memories. It was never my intent to hurt you. Let it go. I got it. You're looking at the new manager. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, I want to tell Nancy. Have you seen her? No, why? <laughs> Just asking. Hey, this is going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. You and me back in the same city again? Hello? I don't know if I can afford a house out here. Oh, come on, come on. We'll go look for one, a little, maybe a little fixer-upper. And you know who can do the fixing? <laughs> I'm hoping Al. <laughs> Hey, Nance, Jill, get the job. Oh, great. Oh, that's right. I knew uh, that you uh, would. Congratulations. Uh, Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thanks. 
Hey, I want to propose a toast. Right. It's my new job to uh, Tim and Jill for all your encouragement, and to my lovely wife Nancy, who's always been there for me. Congratulations, Marty. Who I must say is looking particularly delightful this evening in this outfit. Don't you think so, Tim? Yeah. I never notice what she's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> but I notice what Jill's wearing. It looks lovely on you. Thank you. It's going to be so great to have you living nearby. You know, Tim and I could babysit for you anytime. Great. They're going to be walking and talking soon. I know. I can't believe they're almost a year old. It seems like just yesterday you were pregnant. <laughs> I still remember the time you drove up to Saginaw and surprised Nancy during her shower. <laughs> Showers. Wait a minute, isn't that our song? <laughs> we don't have a song. We do now. Let's dance. Come on. Dance? Come on. Stop. Are you okay? You're acting even stranger than normal. I'm all right. You have a problem with Nancy? You seem a little uncomfortable around her. I'm not uncomfortable. Well, good, because I think she's great. The more I see her, the more I like her. <laughs> you too. Hey, what? I'm cutting in. Huh? I want to dance with my beautiful sister-in-law. Well, what about me? I'll dance with you next time. <laughs> Come on, in the meantime, you dance with your beautiful sister-in-law. <laughs> Now, if you want to tell me, you should have told me right away. I wanted to tell them, but you talked me out of it. Okay, okay, I agree. Next time we see each other naked, we tell them right away. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. <sighs> well, okay, so what do we have? What do we got? A bunch of good choices here. Mm. I think there's something Tim and I should share. Chicken and ribs. How about that, huh? I could have the ribs, you have the chicken. That works out with, with the Jill. That'd be all right. We'll do that way. That's good. That's not what I wanted to share. Well, well uh, liver and onions. Liver and I'll take all the onions. You know how I like onions. Shouldn't have too many of them because onions, they're, you know, they, they well, uh. No. The specials, of course. Mike, what are the specials? All beef wieners. Your choice of buns. <laughs> You were trying to say. That's our song right there. That's our song. La Cucaracha is our song. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Tim and I saw each other naked. I didn't mean to. I thought it was you. La 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 la. Hey, everybody, come on. Well, was that a fun evening or what? Put me down for or what? Will you let it go, Marty? The whole thing was totally innocent. Sure, to you and peeping Tim here. Marty, it was an accident, okay? It was, it was like the first time that guy Buddha sold his first uh, naked cheese. How can you feel anything but pity for a man like this? I just don't like the idea that you saw my wife without her clothes on. Oh, grow up, will you? Would it make you feel better if you saw my wife with her clothes on? Tim! Well? Marty! Can you believe Marty? He's the most immature guy I've ever met. No. That would be the guy who thought a fair trade would be to see his wife naked. I was just doing that to calm him down. Nobody wants to see you naked. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, I'm sorry. What I meant was, other than me, nobody wants to see you naked. Look, 
It didn't bother me that you saw Nancy naked. I just don't understand why you didn't tell me about it. Nancy didn't think it would be a good idea. <laughs> and uh, so that's why she was the one that brought it up at dinner. She's a very complicated woman. <laughs> Admit it, you didn't tell me about it because you liked what you saw. I didn't like it. <laughs> didn't hate it. You liked what you saw and you felt a little guilty about it. No, I felt real guilty about it. <laughs> That's good. Proves one thing, I've trained you well. And even though it was an accident, you feel guilty. That's good, I like it. <laughs> this is pathetic. Because of you, I can't even enjoy the sight of another naked woman. That is the nicest thing you ever said to me. Well, I meant every word of it. You know what else? What? I don't even remember what she looked like. Yeah, right. Well, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. Besides, I do remember why I went into the shower to begin with. I thought you were there. What exactly were you planning on doing in there? Jump in the shower, sure. All right. <laughs> A la cucaracha! A la cucaracha! <laughs> la 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 Nancy, I'm in here. Nance, Nance! Surprise! Hey, Marty. How you doing, baby? <laughs> here, get my back, will ya? <laughs> show you how to, to install some water aerators, shower heads, and one of these. Damn, you put it in the back of the thing to make sure that you compartmentalize it. <laughs> Tim, this is ridiculous. There is so much space between us. We can fit another person in here. There's an idea. <laughs> hey, buddy, you want to join us? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha.